You're awake. Okay, hi, I'm not kidnapping you. First things first, right? So don't panic. I'm not gonna murder you or take you somewhere weird or do anything, okay? Yes, you are in my car, but I'm taking you to the hospital. Yeah, the hospital. Crazy, right? Do you even have any idea what happened? I'm still trying to figure it out myself, and I didn't even get run over. Not run over, run over. I'm pretty sure that if their tires actually rolled over your body, then you would be way more dead than you are right now. Not that you haven't seen fitter days, I'm sure, but... How are you feeling? And how are your fingers? Can you move all of them? Good. Reach into my backpack. I didn't even have time to take it off. I just threw you in the car and took off... My cell phone's in the front pocket. Which one? The front one. It has a zipper, but it's the smaller of the two pockets that have zippers. Hot dog, not hamburger. You don't feel anything broken, do you? You don't always feel it. It's so, like, don't move too much, okay? I buckled you in just in case. Imagine we get in a car wreck on our way to the hospital after you've just had a car wreck, a pedestrian, a car, whatever, a hit and run. No, that's not gonna happen. I say dumb stuff when I get nervous. I'm sorry. This whole situation, life and death, seeing you fly over the hood of a car like that, freaks me out. Sorry, you must be so much more freaked out than I am. That's, that's okay. Just maybe don't freak out too much. Take some deep breaths or something and stick to just typing on the screen. Yeah, I need you to GPS us to the hospital. I got us this far, but it's not like I've had a whole lot of experience driving myself to the hospital. I'll drive careful, but fast. But, like, I won't speed, unless I have to. You don't feel like you're gonna die, do you? No? Okay. Good. Yeah, I don't know exactly what that feels like, either. Pask food! Right. Um, uh, shut up for a second. Sorry, reflex. I just, I have to think. Don't shut up. If something doesn't feel right, like, it feels wrong, like, different wrong, like, something changes, totally tell me, okay? Me breathe. You breathe. Well, yeah, me too, obviously. I'm not gonna hyperventilate and pass out at the wheel. I'm just, I'm trying to get you some help, okay? We were both out there jogging, and I saw everything. Passcode, what is the freaking passcode? Three something, three, two. Do you ever just do it by muscle memory? Jesus. Three, two, four, three, two, four. Are you sure you typed it right? Try it again, God. Three, three, four, two, four, two, three. No, no, no. Three, three, four, two. I don't. Four, three. I I can't, I, 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 three. My what? The air freshener. The air freshener? This? Why? It's coconut. Why? Okay, I, I, I like to smell the beach. And the beach always smells like sunblock to me, which smells like coconut. The, the what? Frick, the passcode. Uh, three, two, one. Three, two, two, one. You know what? How is your range of motion doing? Can you just hold it up and use face ID? Here, slide my sunglasses down for me. It's not like I stopped to accessorize when I saw what happened. I was out for a run too, I already had them on. I think we've actually crossed paths on our jogs before. It's scary how this kind of thing can happen to anyone, and I saw- Beginning route to the Stock Family Hospital. <sighs> Continue straight until Hallhurst Lane. You are on the fastest route. That was a, a nice try. You were asking me about my air freshener a second ago. Trying to distract me, calm me down. I should be the one trying to run distraction on you. 
good news is that adrenaline is actually very useful in situations like these. It's probably what kept you from bleeding out. And I'm pretty sure you don't want rescued by somebody who can't be bothered. Turn right onto Hallhurst Lane. No, God, no, it was not that. I don't think anyone else saw really late. Getting dark. I'm sure everybody cares. Probably they already called the police, I don't know. I'm gonna call them as soon as we get to the hospital. Pretty sure it was a blue car. Or black. It's really hard to tell. You don't happen to remember what the car looked like, do you? Obviously, I wasn't looking at them like they were about to be a suspect in a crime. No one expects someone to practically drive over a person and just keep going like nothing happened. Of course, if I knew that was going to happen, I would have made a point to remember what it looked like or taken a picture or something useful. Right, or pushed you out of the way. Don't worry, okay? I'm pretty sure I have a pretty good description to give the cops. They had in-state plates. Keep left toward Huntington Road. Imagine noticing that, but not the actual plate number. It's the colors. The colors didn't stand out, which means it was in-state. Something we see all the time. But you know what? I think they had a bumper sticker in their back window. I can't remember of what. I, I wasn't close enough. I saw it as it drove off. But it was white and big and sort of took up the whole middle of the glass. That's gotta be identifying, right? Oh, that. That's your blood. I should really start carrying around a first aid kit or something. All these bandages. God, I can't even handle a hangnail at work, let alone this. I just didn't expect when I went out for my run today that, you know, obviously, it's fine. Yeah, you bled all over my jacket too, but I'll get them professionally cleaned. Yes, trust me, I... Continue straight until Hexen Terrace. Not very good around blood, I am not touching it. Don't worry about that though. Wait, what road was that? Ixum? Hexum? Who the heck lives on a street called Hexum Terrace? Probably people who can afford an ambulance. Not that I assumed that you couldn't, but... You never know. You know? And my car was right there, my phone was back in my car. Turn left onto Hexum Terrace. Ambulances are so freaking expensive here. My cousin had to ride in one last year and they billed her like $3,000 or something. And I don't think insurance pays any of that. Like, sorry, my bad for getting run over by a car today, you know? God. I just figured you already had a bad enough day as it was without getting a bill like that. Kind of a messed up joke again, sorry. No, when I saw you lying there in the street You're like that, I... Uh, Continue straight until Mandarin Lane. I can Lane. barely look at you. I'm not going to be able to forget the sound of the car hitting. One look at you and, and you have this confusion in your expression. Merge onto Mandarin Lane. This bewilderment. Like you couldn't understand what had just happened. And who could blame you? Turn right onto Shade Boulevard. You are on the fastest route. You know, I got thrown from a horse once when I was very little. And even though I knew what was happening, like it was all in slow motion, I understood the horse had bucked. When my body impacted the ground that hard, it's like you can't comprehend the sensation. You come to a stop so fast and it's just confusing. That times a car for you. Frick, was that left or right? Right? Okay. Thanks. What about you? Remember anything from your childhood? Or from this morning, perhaps? Like what you ate for breakfast? I think I'm supposed to be asking you questions like that to make sure you're remembering things okay. 
What? It's, it's not like you were a total danger to put in my car. A stranger, yeah, but I knew I could take you. Just look at you. Of course, you should see the other guy. There's probably a big dent in the hood of their car right now. God, I hope it costs them so much freaking money to fix it. How could they do that to somebody? Not even stop to find out if you're okay. No, I'm sorry. They just left. They didn't even... Are you okay? What? 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 Tell me what's happening. What are you feeling? Okay, just... Hold on. Not, not literally. Don't... Don't do anything physically. They really need to check you out. Is this a new pain? Or was it feeling like that before? Not before, before, but before during this car ride. After you got hit by the car before... It's okay, I'm, I'm just rambling. Don't stress about it, okay? We're almost there. Just keep telling me where it hurts, I guess. That way, if you pass out unconscious or die, I can tell the doctor. Kidding. Sorry. I'm... I'm coping. <laughs> I'm really glad you're okay. I didn't know what I was gonna see when I went over there. I almost couldn't make myself look, but I, I couldn't leave you like that, bleeding in the middle of the road. Not even to go get my phone out of the car. It's always a toss-up, you know? Do you take it with you and get mugged for it, or leave it in the car and be stranded in some freak emergency without the ability to call 911 for a cute stranger? Ah, okay, 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 okay. Do you want to do some breasts with me? Or scream? Or something? Anything? We're almost there. I think. I'll speed up, but I'll make it almost there. Turn right onto Wellness Road. You are on the fastest route. Does it hurt a lot right now? Okay. Do you, do you have an air freshener in your car? A bike? A bike? Your bike. You had a bike. That car knocked you all the way off of a bike? How hard did he have to hit you for you to fly that far? Holy... Like, buckled you in so it's fine. I need to get you to the hospital right now. I didn't even see a bike. No, you went one way and I guess the bike... Jesus Christ. Deep breaths, okay? Or, or shallow ones? Whatever makes the pain less right now, okay? Just keep doing that. And hold on, this is kind of a sharp turn. Your destination is up ahead. Frick. The Stock Family Hospital is on your left. You have arrived at your destination.